Hey there guys, what's up? It's Boy Pucks at all. Back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. Today's video is going to be us checking out the new WWE Summer Super Pass and what you need to do for week one. So without further ado, I suggest you get right into the video. Right then guys, let's have a quick look at the Super Pass and what you need to do for week one. To get into the game, we should drop Celebrate Summertime with the ping help of Super Pass. Our newest summer cards are available starting today, featuring Zeku and his brother Elias Katana Chance and more. You can also collect Super Pass Special Edition cards of the Hurricane, Super Stacy, and the debut of Rosie. Super Pass ends July 25th at 12 p.m. So start playing now. Summer Super Pass, Becky Lynch takes over Money in the Bank and Giants Unleashed. Right, here's the Super Pass. Let's have a quick look at it. I don't know if I'll be doing this yet. I'm still yet to make a decision, but if I do, obviously you'll see the content. But the missions for week one are as follows. Acquire super coins, 2,500, fairly easy. If you guys if you guys grind PVP, easy to do. Just grind it, you guys get the super coins, is what it is. Acquire specific superstar card, summer card, 15. Depending on what the drop rate of these are from the draft board, it can either be really easy and you can get really lucky, or it could be super tough and you could be sat there grinding your super coins for hours, but, it should be doable. Then play a game with money in the back. 70 games, you know. That's a lot of games. That is a lot, a lot, a lot of games. Mad. I mean, if you guys have got the patience to do that, good luck. <laughs> then acquire draft picks. A thousand again. Piece of cake. Either play survivors, collect the picks that way. You guys have also got the super coins. Just trade them into picks and get them off the board. Fairly easy. Super move is 20. Again, kind of a, a long one to do, in my opinion, because super, super moves aren't that quick to charge unless you grind Raw Rumble. But like I said, again, doable. And then win 100 speed matches. Like I said, speed arrow cards in your Raw Rumble deck and you're good to go. 100 of them gets you 240 points. Honestly, really, really easy. Let's have a quick look at some of the rewards. You get sand castles, which are collectibles this time around, which you guys can trade in for some summer cards. I'm also going to flick through some of these that I think are interesting to just have a look at. So here's the Santos Escobar WrestleMania 38 summer card. It actually looks okay. We're going to flick through some of the reward towers to get draft picks, whatever. Not even draft picks, exclusive picks. You've got the special edition card returning of uh, like Roman and stuff, which is pretty cool. If you guys haven't collected those in the past, it gives you the chance to get them again now. Sandcastle pack again. I want to see where the superstar packs are. Is this one of them? So it looks like... I don't know if it's just me, but are there... Only tier cards? I reckon there is. I don't know if this is one of them, but I'm going to say it is. But obviously, let me know in the comments. But yeah, just a quick overview of what you can get. And at level 30, 2900, you get another Sandcastle pack. I don't actually... Oh, here we go. There's a Ronin one. Caden Carter. Actually looks okay, to be fair. Like I said, I'm still yet to make a decision whether I'm going to be doing this. But if you guys definitely want me to do it, leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. But if you guys have liked this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on my next video very, very soon. Peace.